Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is part two of this video right here. We had some problems, some technical difficulties in the first part. Um, so uh, hopefully we won't suffer the same issues in this part right here. All right, so coming back over here, there is the uh, final printout here, once again. The randomizing parts in the first part of the video, say part one of two. All right, and here was the first box that I had opened up right there. Oh, and who was, okay, so now, who am I? <laughs> that would be a helmet. That's still on. That's still below the other jerseys, Rex. I don't like Tiger Woods that much. That would be snake-like behavior. I, I am Oppo Snake. All right, let's try this again. Who am I? I am a active running back in the NFL. 27 years old, 6'3", 247. Uh, in my career, I have 6,643 rushing yards, 65 rushing touchdowns already, 92 receptions for 830 yards. I was a college football national champion in NFL. Oh, well, Joe Locus has got it already. Derrick Henry. There's his auto. There are the numbers. There's the Derrick Henry. There's the Beckett sticker. The Beckett card. Nice. That'll be for Chad Wright and Tennessee. I think these are, I think these are almost all custom jerseys. Or Derrick Henry. I hope, hopefully he gets well soon. Yeah, you can see the, the tag right here. Custom jersey. All right. Where's my... All right, congrats to Chad. Set those down there. All right, next jersey. Wait, are we randomizing that base set, Nick? Not opening it and going to a specific teams. All right, what do we, who do we have here? We've got an inscription here too. Oh, that must be that player. Yeah. All right. Here's a retired player. All right. Uh, still alive. Sixty-four years old. Born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Six-five-two, sixty-four. Defensive tackle, defensive end. Out of Arkansas. It was a first round pick in the late 70s. Pick four. Played for one team my entire career. Super Bowl champ. First team all pro. Four time second team all pro. Four time pro bowler and NFL 1980s all decade team. 79 sacks in my career. One safety. Pro football hall of famer. Who am I? Draft, uh, don't look it up, but draft, if, if you know this off the top of your head, if you know your 1979 draft class and the fourth overall pick, you'll get it. And played with one team my entire career from 1979 to 1990. And a Super Bowl XX champion.
my team beat the Patriots. Not Bob Lilly. Think about your uh, think about your your mid eighties defensive juggernauts. I don't know what a Wilbur Marshall is. Ray Finkel, not a uh, not a defensive tackle or defensive end. There you go, Joe. You were on the right track. Dan Hampton. There it is. There's his autograph. It's got some good penmanship. He hit you with a HOF inscription. This should be another custom jersey. And for the Bears, that'll be for Regimel with the Bears. Next jersey. Yeah, I like the big bold autograph too, Danny. You use a lot of that number. The kids these days could could uh could learn a thing or two there. Alright, next. Alright, who am I? Um, I'm no longer with it. I passed away uh, last November at age 84. Was a halfback and a kicker, 6'2", 215. Went to Notre Dame, drafted first overall in 1957. Was a Super Bowl champion and a four-time NFL champion and an NFL Most Valuable Player. Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer, 3,711 career rushing yards, 50 rushing touchdowns. Not too many players who were halfbacks and kickers. There you go. Nick Jaspi's got it. Paul Horning. Yeah, no longer with us, Paul Horning. There's his auto. There's all the JSA card and sticker. Nice. That'll go to Green Bay. That's Jim Murray with the Green Bay Packers. There you go, Jim. Congrats. Yeah, Wikipedia has him as a halfback kicker. All right, and who is this? Another old school guy. All right, who am I? I am a halfback wide receiver. Uh, born in 1933, I'm 87 years old. According to Wikipedia, I'm still with, I'm still, uh, I'm still with us in this world. Drafted in 1956, ninth overall. Played with one team my entire career. A two-time NFL champion, seven-time Pro Bowler, Pro Football Hall of Famer. 5,174 rushing yards in my career, 63 rushing touchdowns, 364 receptions, 6,039 receiving yards. Went to Penn State. Went to high school in Reading, Pennsylvania.
Yeah, not Gale Sayers. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Joe Paterno did not play halfback or wide receiver in the NFL. I'll give you the team. He's a Colt. I don't know if anyone's going to even get this. It's going to go to Nick T. Not Raymond Barry. I feel like you're kind of on the right track. Who's the other guy we see a lot in the hobby? It's not, not Colt Raymond Barry, but the other dude. It's a familiar name. Yeah, Ryan H. has got it. Lenny Moore. There it is. There's his autograph. HOF inscription. And I think these are almost all custom jerseys, so we're just going to keep them nicely folded in here. So we won't have the officially licensed stuff. All right, Nick with the Colts. Yeah, that was a really deep brain dive. That was nice. All right, so that's th four jerseys down. All right, one, two, three, four. So we're halfway through, after this, we're halfway through the jersey case, and then we'll do four full-size helmets. Yeah, I'm not sure when he signed that, Mark, but it is, it is some solid penmanship. For a dude who's probably in his 80s, mid-80s when he signed that. All right. All right, who am I? I'm an active quarterback. Not a halfback, an active quarterback. 6'4", 228, out of Missouri. Played for one team my entire career, a second-round pick. I have a career 23 interceptions and nine, or 23 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 4,066 passing yards. Oh, yeah, nice, Nick. Drew Locke, what gave that away? Oh, did a uh, college maybe? Missouri second round QBs? Yeah, it's Drew Locke. There's his autograph. They, they do not call is that what they call him, Nick, you ask me? In what circles do they uh call him that? Yeah, he has he has career four thousand sixty six passing yards. Alright, that's to my rivals, the Denver Broncos. That'll be for Joseph K. Oh, that's right! He did. I feel like your brother told me that way back when. I think that was the year, Nick, we... That was, I think that was the year we bet on Drew Locke. He was still in college, right? I think that we bet on Drew Locke to win the Heisman? Or was that someone else? I feel like there was another quarterback that we had to bet the Heisman on because of some sort of connection. <laughs> All right. It was him and Khalil Tate. That's right, Khalil Tate. That's who it was. All right, who am I? I'm a retired running back, 6'1", 212, played for two teams my entire career. First overall pick in 1969, was an MVP, an Offensive Player of the Year, five-time Pro Bowler, was once chased by those guys in the background in a slow speed chase. Career 11,236 rushing yards, 61 rushing touchdowns, Pro Football Hall of Famer and College Football Hall of Famer, Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, it's the juice, OJ Simpson. There he is, OJ Simpson. Yeah, I think, uh, who got it first? I think Mark got it first.
in his Bills gear. And that goes to Ven Lutt and the Buffalo Bills. Insanity with that one. <laughs> the real killer not in there, by the way. Still out there, according to Mr. Simpson. All right, who do we have here? I think it's this player here. All right, who am I? A, a retired wide receiver, currently 57 years old, 6'2", 190. I'm sure those are my playing days right there. Um, was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Went to Allentown High School. Went to college in Pennsylvania, Kutztown College. I'm probably the only Hall of Famer that has come out of Kutztown College. Fourth round pick in the mid 80s. Played for three teams my entire career. Seven time Pro Bowler. Had 951 receptions, 13, over, for over 13,000 yards and 87 touchdowns, which is close to my jersey number. Ryan H. Nice. Andre Reed. Yep. There's his autograph. Now Ryan and Danny getting the Andre Reed. Is their stadium named after him? That's what Nick Jaspi is saying. Another one for the Buffalo Bills. Vincenti with that. So here are our remaining jerseys. Yeah, so Andre Reed Stadium at Cutstown College, apparently. He was solid on Tecmo Super Bowl, recalls Danny. All right, no, nothing like a Cutstown win and a hoagie from the Wawa, says Nick Jaspi. I can't do that accent, but can Nick, Nick can you do an accent? Kate Winslet was able to do that accent. Yeah, in the next video, I'll try to fit into that, that <laughs> the box where the jerseys came from. Stay tuned for that. Who, who, are, who are you? Oh, I know who you are. Yeah, Nick Jaspi could have been on Mayor of Easttown. It's a good show. And I don't watch a lot of TV, television programs. Who am I? I'm an active quarterback in the NFL, obviously. These are all NFL players. I was an NFL Rookie of the Year, a, uh, a three-time academic All-American, so I guess I'm a smart guy too. Um, most total TDs by a rookie quarterback with 36. Most passing TDs by a rookie quarterback, 31. Most completions by a rookie quarterback, 396. Most 300-yard games, by a rookie quarterback, eight. This should be pretty easy. Who am I? Yep, Nick's got it. Ryan's got it. He's a record setter. Or old Herbie, that's right. Justin Herbert. There's his autograph. 
There's the Herber. Yeah, looks looks like another custom jersey here. Pretty solid player. This will definitely be shipped to Nick. Snakes will not be able to coil around that one. Nick with uh, Nick Nguyen with the Chargers. Congrats. So congrats to Nick. Got randomized the Chargers, gets the Justin Herbert jersey. <laughs> Ryan saying anyone can be a genius at Oregon? I don't know if it was Oregon saying he was an academic. I think he's an academic All-American, all which I think composes of all the divisions. So he was going up against guys at Stanford. Yeah, no, no, but it's not like it's not like uh, Justin Herbert was on the. Um, was on like the Oregon honor roll. Like academic all American is, is it comprises, is selected across all the divisions, are they not? All right, who am I? I'm a safety, a retired safety. Once stood at six foot two ten, 48 years old now. Went to William M. Raines High School in Jacksonville, Florida. Went to Clemson. Was drafted in 96 in the second round, played for two teams my entire career. Was a four-time first-team All-Pro, nine-time Pro Bowler, part of the 2000s All-Decade team. My number 20 retired by the team I played for the longest. Uh, yeah, there you go. Nick Jaspi's got it. Total 1,147 ta total tackles. 26 sacks as a safety, 19 fumble recoveries, 37 interceptions. Man, I'm pretty good. That's pretty awesome. I don't think this is a... This does not look like an officially licensed jersey. Yeah, it's not. But the autograph's official. And that is for the Fly Eagles Fly, Ryan Harold, Who's moving to Southern California next year. Maybe hang out at Jaspies. All right, and the final jersey. And then four full-size helmets. Yeah, it, the weather's so much nicer here, right? It is a little cold for LA. It's a little cold tonight. Who am I? I am a halfback, no longer with us. Passed away last year, last September, at 77 years old. Was a first round pick, top five pick in both the NFL draft and the AFL draft. Played for one team my entire career. Was a rookie of the year, a comeback player of the year, a two-time rushing yards leader, four-time pro bowler, part of the 1960s all-decade team, 50th anniversary all-time team. 75th anniversary all-time team, 100th anniversary all-time team. Career, 4,956 rushing yards, 39 rushing touchdowns, 3,172 return yards, and eight return touchdowns. Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer, was even an AD in college. 
uh, for Southern Illinois for a number for some years, Tennessee State for a little bit. Yep, Joe Locus, Nick Jaspi, Mark, Ryan. It is Gail Sayers. There's his autograph. There's all the PSA stuff right there as well. Chicago Bears, Regimel with the Bears. All right. He's got he's got a very distinctive autograph too. Here are the helmets. Rip these open like the Hulk. All right. All right. Who am I? I'm a retired running back, 61 years old, from Sealy, Texas, 6'3", 220. Went to college at SMU, drafted in 1983 with the second overall pick. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. An NFL Offensive Player of the Year, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, six-time Pro Bowler, four-time NFL Rushing Yards Leader. Yep, SKS, Nick Jaspi's got it, Kevin, Ryan, Etc. Etc. It is Eric Dickerson. Now, what Eric Dickerson is it? Is it Rams Eric Dickerson on the helmet? It's Rams Eric Dickerson. Here, let me actually put this right here. Oh, nice. That's a good looking helmet right here, boys and girls. He's got it. He's got excellent penmanship. Rams, Colts, Raiders for in 1992, and the Falcons in 1993. But most people out here in Los Angeles, we we remember him as a uh, as a Ram, of course. In fact, he's on local sports radio, AM 570. He's he's on some of the afternoon shows. I he hear him when he's uh, when I'm driving to work. Pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, Falcons in 1993. I'm not sure what the situation was. I did even play. Yeah, he started a couple of games. He only played four games for the Falcons. Maybe injury derailed him there. Rams. That's gonna go. That's also for Regimel and the Rams. Nice. Turn on the top camera for this. It might be. 
see everything that's going on here. Cut the seal there. All right. Active player, an active wide receiver. 27 years old from Miami, Florida, 6'2", 215. Wide receiver out of Alabama. There's a lot of those. Uh, picked fourth overall. Played for two teams my entire career. Four-time Pro Bowler. A national champion. A Blitnikoff Award winner. Has a career 479 receptions for 6,584 receiving yards and 42 receiving touchdowns. Not Julio Jones. I think Julio Jones is a little bit older than 27. Right? And I think he has more than 479 receptions and rece uh, more than 6,584 receiving yards. Yep, Mark and Brett got it. Amari Cooper. Now let's see what version of Amari. I'm assuming it's Cowboys version of Amari Cooper. It is. Oh, this is a cool helmet. So it's a matte black helmet with the with a silver star on here. Nice one for the Cal, uh, Dallas Cowboys, Jaden Burns with the boys. Pretty cool, right? It's got the Cowboys badge on the back, the JSA sticker and card right here on the side. Pretty nice. All right, two more to go. got this again? Jade, I think. Jaden. Jaden Burns. Burnsy. Would have been cool if they had a visor. I, th you could, I think you could buy a visor. You could pop that right on the helmet. Should come with a visor. That's a good idea. Wish you, next time we talk to Leaf, we'll be like, pop some visors on those babies. Um, people have noticed that on the on the uh, sell sheet, um, Tiger Woods is on the sell sheet. Apparently, I, th I think I heard someone say that he's on a Stanford helmet, and it's a dual auto with John Elway. So if that happens to get pulled, it'll be a randomizer. First, we'll randomize everybody's name, see who has the rights to the Tiger Woods side of the auto, and then that'll be randomized with Joe and the Joe K and the Broncos. In case you were wondering. All right. Who am I? I'm an active running back in the National Football League from Bronx, New York. Standing at six foot two thirty two, went to college at Penn State and was picked second overall and played with one team my entire career. Have a career 2,539 rushing yards, 19 rushing touchdowns, 163 receptions, 1,349 receiving yards, seven receiving touchdowns. If only I was a little more healthy, I'd probably be one of the more collectible players in the league. Probably one of the best players in the league. Yeah, I think everyone's got it, right? Kevin, Nick Jaspi, SKS, Mark, Joe, Decon, Saquon Barkley. There's the Beckett card inside the bag. That'll ship, of course. 
It's a good looking helmet. It's a very good looking helmet. You can see on the on the top camera as well. Nice one, right? Then you'll have the uh, the Beckett sticker on the back. Very nice. Nice one for the G-Men. Who's got the New York football giant? That's going to go to Rex. There you go, Rex. We got the Giants badge on the front right here, too. Yeah, I think Rex tried to trade the Giants. Yeah, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There you go. Listen, if this guy comes back from injury and comes back strong, Rex, that's a lot of upside for this helmet. There you go, Rex, congrats. Yeah, I wonder if Rex tried to trade just to get the mojo. I feel like if you do that, the mojo knows and it won't give you the mojo. People who genuinely try to trade will get the mojo though. But false mojo, mojo knows. The trade gods know and then it won't provide you the mojo. So I believe that Rex genuinely tried to trade away the New York football giants. All right, last one. All right, who am I? Retired quarterback, Age currently 64 years old. I've got a birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. I'll be 65 soon. 6'3", 221. Uh, was born in Los Angeles and went to Hamilton High School here in LA. I know where that is. Went to college at Washington and was undrafted. And then played with the Edmonton Eskimos before going to the NFL and played for one, two, three, four NFL teams in my entire career. Was an NFL Offensive Player of the Year a Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, a nine-time Pro Bowler, a NF two-time NFL Passing Yards Leader, an NFL Passing Touchdowns Leader, part of, uh, part of this team's Ring of Honor, a five-time Grey Cup champion as well. Yep, David B's got it, Danny's got it, Joe's got it. It's Warren Moon, 291 touchdowns in my entire career. Yeah, Tennessee Titans number one retired and part of the Titans slash Oilers Ring of Honor, according to Wikipedia. Bart Starr Award winner as well. 291 touchdowns, 22 rushing touchdowns. I'm assuming this is this is Oilers edition. Yep. You know, my uncle, who lived in Texas for a long time, uh, was an Oilers fan. And then turn into a Cowboys fan because the Oilers broke his heart and went to Tennessee. He's got a pretty nice autograph too. The old Oilers logo I think is pretty sharp as well. I know, Joe P's gonna be mad at you, Nick. Nick Jaspi, you got his hopes up. Where's the, oh, there's all the, there's all this sicker authentication stuff. It's even got more, the helmet's got more of a vintage shape too. I think you can kind of see on different camera angles. It's sort of got a cool vintage shape. There you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to Chad Wright and the Tennessee Titans. Thanks everybody.
no more helmets. I could probably fit inside this box. In the next video, I'm gonna go inside that box. Stay tuned for that. I'm Joe, ja I won't. Joe Jaspi here um, for jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for the next jersey, full-size helmet, whatever we have, break. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.